I sure love being 35.8 miles away from shore on the Chu Tannic, while we are currently traveling at 12 knots, which also happens to be 13.81 miles per hour. <laughs> Me too. I really appreciate the aesthetic of this place, you know, with the bilge pump and the buckets everywhere. Yes. And you know, we're never going to sink, because nothing could ever bad happen whatsoever to us that could cause rain and waves to pour in through holes in the ship. Yes, remember, this is the Titanic 2. It's not supposed to sink. Ha <laughs> You're right. What do you want? Uh, boy, I sure love to being in this ship where nothing could go wrong and no blonde guys could ever try to shoot missiles at me. This is Light Agent 69, 35.8 miles off the shore. Hmm, I wonder I can mess up his day. I know exactly what I can do. <laughs> Since he's heading over here at 12 knots, I'll shoot a missile. Activate missile! Boy, I love being in this ship, which doesn't have a missile going towards it right now. <laughs> Boom. Oh no! The ship's been hit by a missile! Now it has holes in it, which could fill the ship alone within four hours and ten minutes! And it's filling up faster than the rain of waves by three times! Which means that the holes are equal to three R! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That was, that was a bit of a missile! Well... I guess I'm in the two are wrong. And I feel like that's okay. But you know, I was never wrong, guys. We're all dying together. This goes to our graves. Alright, I believe in you. But, I have an idea. You know, judging by the holes, which I can't see, and the rain and waves, which I also can't see, I reckon that our ship will fill and sink in 2.5 hours. But don't worry, I have a plan for how we can get out of this, using our bilge pump and our buckets. You know, from earlier. Follow me. Don't follow us anymore. <laughs> I sure would like to explain how you to you guys how we'll live, but I can't seem to find a marker anywhere. Oh, thank you, kind sir. Alrighty, boys. This is how we're gonna live. As you can see, this right here is the shore. And this is our boat. We are currently a whole now, you might not have heard this before, but we are a whole 35.8 miles away from the shore. And we are currently traveling at 12 knots, which happens to be 13.81 miles per hour. So, our boat is going to fill up from the rain and waves and the holes at 60%. We're going to sink. And the holes alone will fill up our boat in 4 hours and 10 minutes. And the holes are filling up the boat fat three times faster than the rain and waves which means that the holes, which will be represented by H, is equal to 3R. So what does R stand for again? Which stands for the rain. Idiot. God. Next up, we're going to want to do make our equation, which is 10H plus 10R equals 800. It's we're, gallons, by the way. We're, we're getting this 10 here because in 10 minutes, the holes in the rain will fill up 800 gallons in our ship. So by doing this, we can change this 10H to 30R, since H is 3 times R. So 30R plus 10R equals 800. That 40R equals 800. And so, we can, <coughs> excuse me, we can divide this to find, we can divide this by both sides by 40 to find that the rain fills 20 gallons each minute. By that, we can determine that the holes fill up 60 gallons per minute by multiplying R by 3. So together, they both fill up 80 gallons each minute. We get, we're given the information that holes can fill the ship alone with four hour, within 4 hours and 10 minutes. And 4 hours and 10 minutes is equal to 250 minutes. And if you multiply that by how many gallons are being poured in by the holes each minute, you can find that the capacity of the ship is 15,000. And 60% of this, which you get by multiplying it by 0. 0.6, is 9,000. So, next we have to find out just how much we're pumping out per minute. We have the information that every 25 minutes we are pumping out 500 gallons. So, with this, we just have to divide it by 25, since, we're take, since it's every 25 minutes.
minutes. And from that, we get 20. And since we know that each minute we're taking in 20, and each take, taking out 20, and each minute we're taking in 80, we can subtract 80 by 20 to get 60 in total. And so we can divide 9,000 by this 60 to get 150, which means, which calculates to two and a half hours. So we know that it'll take 2.5 hours for our ship to completely sink. And then we can multiply this 2.5 by this 13.81 over here to get 35... 34.525. And if we subtract 35.8 by this... So once we do this, we find that we are 1.275 miles off of the shore at the rate that we are going. And to have a 100% success rate, we can only be half a mile off the shore. And every quarter mile out, our, our success rate drops by 10%. And so, since we are 0.75 miles out, that only gives us, that gives us a 30% reduction, which means that we have a 70% chance of survival. And, you know, it might have been higher if I didn't spend all this time explaining to you guys, but let's go team! Now, kiddos, because there's only a 70% chance to live, that means one of us is going to die. And it's not going to be me. <laughs> You're supposed to be the good guy. There are no good guys, Jared. You'll remember that in hell. All right, how do we get off this ship? We do what Chuck Norris wants to do. We swim on land. All right, see ya. What? So now, with my eyes, I can approximate that we are around 1.275 miles away from the shore. Huh, I can swim this because I'm athletic. Oh look, we're at the shore now. Sure was great before you have with heart. What took you guys so long? I've been here for like the past hour. It's the ghost of Jared. Let's oh, kill it again! No. no! Not this time! Oh no, it's not strong! Cut the camera! Cut the camera! Hmm. I have done it. I have avenged the brethren before me. Ah, uh, finally. Agent 69's dead. Guess my work here is done. Shit! What the hell? Ah! Uh, Marco Noah is dead! Looks like I win again!